Hey guys and welcome to another video of Tech Voices. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can construct different planes by using different option given in Fusion 360. So uh, basically, this uh, tutorial is going to be absolutely for beginners who are uh, new to Fusion 360 user interface. So without starting any time, let's get started. So the first option that we get here is the offset plane. Basically, it, what what is do here? You can see the image here that is uh, offset the plane you are clicking or suppose that uh, you are working on this body and you want uh, a plane parallel to this plane or any plane you want just click on that plane and just offset you can uh, select the offset distance here or you can just uh, manually uh, slide it on along the axis and you can create uh, uh, the plane anywhere you want to suppose that you want to offset this plane I can create a parallel plane along this axis so this was the simplest one let's check this out so this is the second plane is plane at angle what is basically do you have to now select any edge of a body or a component you are working on so and if you want to now so that if you are I'm working on this body and I want to a uh, plane uh, on this edge so I, I I just have to do is click on this uh, go to left view and just now uh, select the angle which I want this plane to be made so you can adjust the angle like this and just click on ok and your plan will be generated now the third option is uh, tangent plane so uh, basically what's the difference between a plane at angle and tangent with this plane is that uh, both are 99% uh, nearly same but uh, the option the tangent plane works only for a uh, uh, cylindrical body because uh, in uh, if you just uh, go to plane at angle it requires an edge and we all are know that that uh, cylinders don't have any edges so you have to create plane uh, using tangent plane just click on any curved surfaces or any cylindrical body like this and you can just select the angle at which uh, the plane needs to be generated and it, it will generate a, a plane on its the radi on the radius of the curvature body like this so uh, let's move on to the next uh, the next is mid plane suppose that you are working on a single body or a single component or more than one component or more than one body and you want to generate a mid plane between them then this tool will be used suppose that I need to uh, make a mid plane between this space and this space so just click on both of the face and it will automatically generate a mid plane in between them uh, not only this it it works on two different bodies also suppose that if I am working on these two different bodies and I want to make a plane between them so just I will just click on this face and I will just click on this place and and it will generate a mid plane if I want then I can also uh, click this face and this place and which generate a mid plane accordingly <coughs> so uh, the next option is uh, yeah plane up through two axes so uh, it is nearly same as offset plane or anything but it only gives you flexibility little bit flexibility so what I have to do is just click a uh, edge and just click on edge and it will generate a plane through those two edges those are uh, suppose that if I want to make a plane on these two edges just click on this and press on ok uh, it works on all, uh, also it works on two different bodies just click on these edges and it, it doesn't matter whether they are in same plane or not it will generate a plane accordingly a little bit diagonally so if you want a diagonal plane between this body suppose that I'm working on this body and I want a plane uh, which will intersect it diagonally I will just click on this edge and the diagonally opposite edge uh, just yeah and it will generate a diagonal plane through this cuboid and just press on ok and you will get your plane so the next option is now nah, plane through two points three points 
so it will uh, it, again it's the same kind of plane between two edges but it will give it in this you have to choose three different points and again i mentioned that it, it is not necessary to create uh, to select point on your single body or object you can select any points in your drawing to create a plan so just i will just click randomly three points and this and it will uh, generate a point which will be passing through all these three points let me just give you another example just click on this click on this and just click on this and it will give you a plane which will be passing through all these three points if you want a diagonal plane you can also just click on three different edges of a body and you will get a plane which will be passing through all these points and just click on ok so here it is your plane so the next option is uh, plane tangent to face and a point so uh, basically what it, it do is you have to just click on any face and just click on the point uh, which uh, you want basically it's of no use and it, it can be done through uh, any other options above which I have above mentioned so basically it's there's no need to this you just have to click on a face and a point so uh, what I like about the fusion the most is the most important thing is plane along path so uh, what is it what it do is uh, just me just hide this plane so that I can show you yeah so just click on the plane along path it will generate up plane along a path so you just have to give it a path suppose that I want to make a plane along this edge so I will just click on this and it will generate a path uh, it will take it as a path and will generate a plane along it and you can of course move it from one end to another end not only this if you are working on any 2d sketch let me just yeah so here here uh, here's a sketch of an spline which I have made earlier so uh, if I want to make a plane on this spline what I have to do is just click on plane along path and just click on this spline and it will generate a it will generate a path along this spline which you can easily move from one end to another so this can be very useful when you are working with uh, uh, models of pipes where where you need to uh, uh, use swipe commands so, yeah, so it's it will be easy to just uh, create a plane along path and just uh, create a circle and just let it swipe along this path so that it can form a pipe like a structure so this is the video of uh, of the planes how can you how can you different uh, generate different planes using all these commands in fusion 360 so if you guys have any queries please comment your queries and i will be answer to i will be happy to answer that and if you really liked this video do comment share and also subscribe to my channel also on the other video i will be talking about uh, how to create different axes using Fusion 360. Thank you and have a nice day.